Hey family, thank you all so much for tuning in. I pray that you're well. I'm excited to see you guys and I have a word for y'all. Listen, you might want to pop some popcorn to listen to this word. Like pause the video, go pop you some popcorn and come back because we are about to celebrate. We are about to rejoice. We are about to run. Okay, God is not playing around. This word is so delicious. It is so beautiful in the way that he unfolded it. Let me just pray and get into it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word. I thank you for giving me this message in the midst of everything that's going on in the world, in the nations, Lord. Yes, let us continue to pray for Israel. Let us continue to intercede on behalf of whoever else you're showing us to intercede for. Let us consecrate ourselves and set ourselves apart for your plan and purpose as you've been showing us, Lord God. Father, I ask that this word be seed planted in the hearts and minds of your people. Let it be all of you and none of me and give the increase to this word in due season. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask for even fresher revelation and anointing as I release it. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. So you guys, I'm going to stick to the notes because this word is out of sight. So I hope you're back. I hope you popped your popcorn. Let's go. So this morning, today is April 16th. So this morning, as the Lord was waking me up, I saw the word magnificent like flash before me. And the way it came in, it was like it was on a roll of movie film. And it came in like a ribbon like this, like magnificent. And I saw the words in gold and it was like a back uh, or black <laughs> background. And so I believe the background was black so I could see the words, okay? And so... The color of the words were gold and the font I recognized as a movie company, but I wasn't sure which one. So when I woke up, I was just like, okay, like, what are you trying to show me, Lord? But before I woke up, I heard the song Blasting in My Spirit by Patti LaBelle. New Attitude is the name of the song. And these are the lyrics that I heard. I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. No, let me sing it because y'all like how I do impressions. Okay. I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. Know where I'm going and I know what to do. I tidied up my point of view. I got a new attitude. Come on, y'all. So that's what I heard, right? And so I woke up. Don't be laughing. Don't get in the comments playing around. Okay. And so magnificent, let me backtrack to that. Magnificent means impressively beautiful, elaborate, grand, extravagant, striking, or princely. And so hold on to those attributes because God is speaking in all of that, okay? And so as I mentioned, the way that the word magnificent came in, it was like I knew that was a movie company that God was highlighting. So as I had the time to sit down and research them all, I thought it was Paramount Pictures at first, but then I started looking at all the known movie companies. And when I came across 20th Century Fox, like their image and logo, it was like Holy Spirit was witnessing in my spirit that that is what God was speaking through. And so I'm going to break that down, the 20th Century Fox revelation, and then I will get back to Miss Patti LaBelle's song because the Lord spoke through that too. And so I looked up the 20th Century Fox intro video because I wanted to hear the music to it, right? And so whenever there's a 20th Century Fox film, their introduction comes on first and you hear the snare drum like... Dum -dum, dum -dum -dum. And then the horns come on. And so let me explain the intro, like the vision, what I'm looking at. And I'll link a video because you guys, I just feel the Lord so strong on this. Shine out the smoke. Listen, oh, I, I can't contain myself. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like in tears of joy. Listen, so you'll go back and watch this. And Father, in the name of Jesus, when your people go back to watch the intro to this movie company's logo, 
I pray that the same impartation that you have been giving me this morning, today, as I have been just in awe of everything that you've shown me. Father, I ask that you give them the same impartation that you gave me of joy, that you're giving me of joy, of happiness, of overcoming, of newness, of life in the mighty name of Jesus. And so listen, the intro starts off with the camera spanning over this dark city and you see all these buildings. I think it's, it may be Hollywood or something, but you see all these buildings and every light is on in every building, okay? And so the view shifts to focus on a moving spotlight that then points up to the 20th century logo, okay? And then from there, the view opens up and you see other spotlights around and they're pointing up to the heavens the sky and the sky is purple. It's really pretty and purple represents royalty. And as I explained the word magnificent, princely, grand, come on, y'all better catch this word. My God, help me Lord. And so around the logo, there are palm trees in the background as well. So that represents paradise. So I kept watching this video over and over as I was prompted by the Holy Spirit. And every time the horns would blow on that intro, I would shout from my belly in my heavenly language. Oh my God, help me, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, send the impartation through the airwaves now in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are getting the impartation of the Holy Spirit right now, if you are speaking in your heavenly language, drop some fire emojis in the comments, please. My God. And so this was God filling me with revelation, anointing, and a witness by his spirit to confirm this word and what he was showing me in this image, okay? And so this is what the Lord was saying, because every time as those horns blew, I got a witness in my spirit. I was speaking out what the spirit of the Lord was saying, and this is what he said. It is a royal announcement, a royal announcement, a royal announcement from heaven, from the kingdom of God, that his daughters and sons are arising as royal priesthoods, a holy nation. You are arising as a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own possession. God is bringing you into an understanding of who you are in Christ and the rights that you have as a royal citizen of his kingdom, being able to sit at the king's table through Christ, who is king of kings, our high priest, our Lord and savior. Revelation 1, 6 says, and he, meaning Christ, has made us to be a kingdom, priest to his God and father, to him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever, amen. And so the Lord is trying to get you to see that you are magnificent, that you are impressively beautiful, that you are royal, that you are extravagant, that you are princely, that you are grand. Come on, somebody, that you are a child of God, not having to get the crumbs from the table, but you can sit at the master's table. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so as I studied the intro more, I looked at the logo, like my focus was on the logo and revelation opened up. And the logo began to appear like it was an Egyptian building, like how an Egyptian building would have looked back then, okay? It was very ornate and royal. And then the Holy Spirit began to highlight Joseph and how he, whoo, come on Holy Spirit, and how he stored all the grain during the seven years of plenty where he has so much abundance that he can no longer count the grain like the sand of the sea. So he was storing up abundance for the seven years of plenty uh, to prepare for the seven years of famine. This is Genesis 41, 48 through 54. And this is the season that we are in. We are in the year of abundance, okay? We're also in a season of plenty where God is still transferring the wealth. He's still giving us creative ideas. He's still shifting us from world systems into the kingdom so that we can do what it is that he's showing us to do to prepare for the tumultuous times ahead. Come on, Holy Spirit. And so then I received a rhema word as God was opening up that logo and showing me that that was 
a spiritual Egypt. Come on, Lord. Thus says the Lord, my children. This is what he began to show me about the whole um, intro video that I was watching. He says, my children are the lights shining in the darkness. So these were the buildings in the intro. When I said all the lights had came on or were on in the buildings, the building is you. The Holy Spirit is within you. The light of Christ shines through you. The glory of God shines through you. So the Lord says that these are my children shining in the darkness. They are being escorted out of Egypt and Babylon and into paradise here on earth as it is in heaven. And so this is your spiritual Egypt, your spiritual Babylon. These are world systems. This is any sin, transgressions, iniquity, like God has been dealing with that and he's transitioning you out into the kingdom of God, into your royal position, into your magnificence, into your elegance, into your extravagance, into your impressively beautiful state. Yes, you mirroring back the image of Christ to him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so as the Lord was speaking this, I started hearing in my spirit the scripture, I never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. And then I, I heard you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You can quote the scripture in the comments. I didn't go back to get the actual uh, verses, but look it up. And those of you who know, put it in the comments. And so the Lord was also showing me that the spotlights represented angelic assistance and visitation uh, for his people into your destiny and purpose to help you move into your destiny and purpose. Thank you, Lord. So let me break down Patti LaBelle's song and then I'm done. I pray that you all are still here. And so <laughs> as I looked up New Attitude, this song was released in 1984. It is 2024. So it's been 40 years since this song was released. And 40 has so many significant meanings. And it symbolizes a time of testing, a time of purification, a time of getting instructions. Come on, Moses on Mount Sinai, Jesus in the wilderness, 40 days and 40 nights to be launched into his ministry. Come on, Holy Spirit. But the Lord is saying this for the number 40 for this message today. He's speaking about the 40 years that the children of Israel spent in the wilderness and the new generation that came out to take the promised land. And so let me get back into some of the lyrics of this song and then I'm done. So New Attitude, this song is about a woman who has learned some lessons and now she has a new outlook on life emotionally, physically, and then I'm going to say spiritually, okay? Because everything happens from the inside out. And so this is a new mindset after all that you have been tested in, tried on and proven in by the Lord in order to continue growing in Christ, your purpose and your destiny. And so I'm going to read some of the lyrics here and wrap it up. Running hot, running cold. I was running into overload. It was extreme. I took it so high, so low, so low. There was nowhere to go like a bad dream. So this is just your previous life of sin. This is lukewarmness as God was showing me from Revelation 3, 15 and 16. Just running hot, running cold, in and out the world, okay? Back and forth, going through your situation, ups and downs, all this stuff, right? All the chaos, the confusion, the toiling, right? Overworking, overload, all of that. And so then after that, the uh, verse of the song says, somehow the wires were uncrossed, the tables were turned. Never knew I had such a lesson to learn. And this was testing, deliverance, clarity. And then she goes back into the chorus. I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. Know where I'm going and I know what to do. I tidied up my point of view. I got a new attitude. So mindset, tidied up, cleaned up point of view. This is what the children of Israel had to do to move into the promised land. This is what you had to do to move into your promised land, into your assignment, into the new thing. And so then the words of the song says, I'm in control. My worries are few because I've got love like I never knew. And so 
This is self-control. This is being obedient. This is God consciousness. That love like you never knew. This is Christ, okay? Come on, somebody. And then those of you, come on, Lord, who are waiting for your kingdom marriage, your husband or wife, okay, that is sent by God, that love like you never knew, that's because they're going to have the love of Christ in them. It's going to be true agape love. It's the real deal, the real thing. And that love you will know because it is the love of Christ and you have learned that in your wilderness season. You have learned that in your process. So this is how some of you are going to recognize who God has for you if he hasn't physically shown you who the person is. You'll know it because of the witness of the agape love. Thank you, Lord. And then it says in the song, I'm wearing a new dress, a new hat, brand new ideas. As a matter of fact, I've changed for good. And so about a month ago, I released a word about it's time to change clothes. Expect the unexpected. And so creative ideas are coming to you. And some of you, they've already started to flow. And so I just want to reiterate what the Lord said in that word that I released because it ties into this word. God said to take off your grave clothes. I am calling them out of the pit and into the palace. And remember, he showed me this logo as a representation of Egypt, of Joseph from the pit to the palace. Come on, Lord. Rejoice, says the Lord, for I am the one who restores all things. As they answer the call to the next level that I am commissioning them to, the battle-stained linens will begin to fall off and be replaced with garments of praise, royalty, and prosperity. This is your royal priesthood. This is abundance. This is magnificence. Okay, this is magnificent. The word that the Lord showed me. Thank you, Lord. And so I pray that this word has blessed you. You better play it back to get it into your spirit. I know it was a lot, but share it with someone if they came to mind. But listen, God is trying to move you from glory to glory, from victory to victory, from faith to faith. He's trying to elevate you so that you keep growing forward in the sense to where he's calling you to be. But you have a new attitude. You have been through your process. There is a royal decree, a royal announcement that is coming from heaven in this hour for every one of his children to rise up in our royal priesthood, in your royal priesthood. This is the earth crying out and groaning for the sons of God to rise up in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys so much with the love of Christ. I'm about to listen to this word myself because Jesus, he is not playing around. I pray that you experience the joy that I feel and that I'm experiencing now over this word. God loves you so much. He cares for you so much. His plans are not to harm you, but to prosper you and give you a future and a hope. I love you guys so much with the love of Christ. Most importantly, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you soon.